hands, long time no see. This is Alex on the 25th of June 2022, currently 11.18 in the morning. Um, also, if I'm doing this correctly on my video, um, this will probably be the first video um, that I upload again um, after quite a long break, I imagine. So this will be quite out of order because I think my last video was probably in the winter at some point. So yeah, we're uh, in the summer now. Um, but yeah, I've been fairly busy, so I've not really been able to go to the mountains, and plus I've not also processed some videos that I've done, uh, or some mountains anyway, that I did over the winter, so I'll get to doing those, I think, after I've uploaded this. But currently we're in Shizuoka Prefecture, on the Izu Peninsula, it's called, going up a mountain called Mount Amagi, which is spelled like that, A-M-A-G-I. Um, normally it's a very easy hike, but um, I've decided to make this a bit more difficult and do this as a fairly long uh, 50 kilometer or so um, traverse, pretty much. So I'll be going up Mount Amagi first, which is about 1400 meters. It's only about a 400 meter elevation change from here. Then after that, I'll be continuing on walking for about 12, 13 hours. So uh, yeah, just a small bit of exercise to uh, get in the swing of things heading towards summer, um, as I have a fairly large hike planned at the end of July. That will probably take footage of, I think. So yeah, um, I'm gonna take a small break before I begin and then uh, probably take some more footage later on the way up to Mount Amagi. So yeah, until next time, Alex, out. Hello again friends, Alex on the 25th of June 2022, currently 12.38 in the afternoon. Uh, elevation around 1300 metres or so on the way up to Mount Amagi, or uh, Banzabudo back here. Mount Banzabudo is the uh, main peak that we're going up to. Um, so I've passed Mount Banjador now, which is uh, one of the two main peaks of Mount Amagi. Um, it's about 1310, 1320 meters or so. So it's incorrect, 1399 actually is what it is. Um, and you basically need to go down, up again, down, and then up to Banzabudo, which is the main peak of Amagi. Um, after that though, obviously, as I mentioned earlier, gonna be continuing on for a good uh, 40, 45 kilometers after that. So yeah. The, uh, the weather is a bit hit and miss at the moment. Um, it should stay clear, but because it's incredibly windy today, um, there's a fair few clouds being blown in. So it means that most of the visibility, once you actually come out onto the ridge line, is quite bad. Obviously that can't really be helped because, you know, it's technically in the middle of the rainy season, being the 25th of June right now. Um, so yeah, as long as it doesn't really rain, that'd be quite appreciated. Um, but yeah. Basically a path like this. Um, normally you'd be able to see out uh, between the trees here in the distance, but as I mentioned, because it's quite windy, lots of uh, blustery cloud cover sort of coming in. So yeah, just on the way up to Mount uh, Banzibudor right now, which is uh, 1400 meters or so. So yeah, I'll be there in about another hour, hour and a half or so, I'd say, give or take. So yeah, when I get there, I'll probably take some more footage, but until next time, Alex, out. Hello again friends, Alex at the summit of Mount Banjuldakit, or Mount Amagisan, 14,005 metres. Currently 13.42 in the afternoon, 25th of June 2022. So yeah, um, zero visibility from the summit. Um, obviously quite a quick climb from the, uh, from the beginning, I'd say. Um, all in all, just under three hours or so. Um, if I were to return from here, it would be a case of just going back to the bus stop, which I came from. But that's not the case with the route that I'm doing today. Or uh, going into this evening anyway, it's not just today, but this evening as well. Um, basically going to continue westward for about another six, seven hours, I think. And then it's about another, um, again, about probably six, seven hours northwards from there. Um, finally reaching the coast, uh, probably tomorrow at around 6, 7 a.m. Um, if I go at a reasonable pace anyway. But as is always the case with these sort of long trails, I'm going to uh, take care to take breaks where I can. Um, because I don't want to burn out energy-wise. I've obviously got lots of food with me. Um, and snacks and such. Uh, water, there's a couple of water sources on the trail, which is uh, quite rare. Um, I'm sort of used to trails that, unless it's in the snowy period, uh, there won't really be any water sources. So I'm just stooping down. That's, uh, that's why. Uh, sort of walking crouched uh, sort of thing, you know. But yeah, um, as I mentioned earlier, it's still a rather dreary weather. I say dreary, it's not really raining uh, touch wood just yet. But uh, 
you know, to be honest, in this cloud cover, unless I get out of these clouds, I wouldn't be surprised if the rain does come eventually. Um, yeah, from here, as I mentioned, it's just about six, seven hours uh, westward. Um, on the way, there's a couple of peaks that I'll be going up, also a pond that I'll come across. It's also a public toilet because there's technically the other trail entrance over there. But I'm just going to uh, speed past that and continue on westwards, really. Um, the pond from here is the next major milestone, which will be about another hour and a half, I'd say. Um, lots of ups and downs on the way. So yeah, um, really enjoying it so far. It's the uh, first time out in nature in quite a while. So I'm just going to use this as quite good training, I think, for a big hike at the end of July that I have coming up. So yeah, I'm going to continue walking up here because it's not really uh, safe to carry you whilst doing this. So until next time, Alex, out. Hello again friends, this is Alex on the 25th of June 2022, currently 14.34 in the afternoon. Elevation around sort of 1200, 1100 meters at the moment. So uh, just a little update. Um, a little earlier on, I heard some lightning slash thunder noises. I didn't hear lightning, I heard thunder. And uh, with that generally comes lightning. So I'm considering maybe cutting this trip slightly short, I think. Um, when I say short, I've still got another seven or eight kilometers to go at least. Um, I'm going to go up to a place called Amagi Crossing, I think. Obviously, um, if the weather clears up, I'll uh, go ahead as planned, I think. But I don't really want to uh, get too greedy, because if my past experience is anything to go by, when I push myself too much in these situations, um, generally only bad things come from it. And uh, originally planned anyway, what? I was planning on going on through the night and uh, finishing tomorrow around 7, 8 a.m. Um, the alternative, obviously, today is spending a bit of money to stay at a uh, hostel type thing in a nearby town on the Izu Peninsula and then um, being fully recovered for tomorrow um, where I've got a full day before a night bus in the evening. So yeah, um, obviously it's rather unfortunate because, you know, um, finally the weekend got to work out some mountains, you know, but I'm still happy that I sort of have got out in nature. But if the weather stays like this, I'm going to have to... Uh, Call it short, I think, for safety's sake. Obviously, it's uh, strange to hear that coming from me because generally I'm quite dangerous in itself going by myself on a trip like this, but hey ho. <laughs> Not going to get too down about it. I'm just going to enjoy the rest of the trip for now. Uh, about another, as I said, six or seven kilometers at least uh, until Amagi Crossing. Uh, on the way there, there is a place called Hatchor Pond, which is meant to be quite pretty. I'm assuming that the visibility is okay. So, yeah, I'm going to continue on going down here. But until next time, Alex out. Hello again friends, Alex on the 25th of June 2022, on the way down from Mount Amagi, on the way to Amagi Crossing. And it's currently 16.48 in the afternoon, about 900 meters elevation. Amagi Crossing, for reference's purpose, is about 750 meters. So we're about two kilometers off now. Um, as you can tell, if anything, the weather's actually gotten worse. Um, so yeah, we're going to stick to the plan, I think, of a uh, Going back down to civilization uh, via the bus from Amy Crossing's uh, bus stop there. The last bus is at 17.49, so just over an hour to get there. Um, be able to handily get there in time, that seems because my pace appears to have gone up um, since summiting Mount uh, Banzabudo, or Banzabudo, so sorry, the uh, Mount Amy main peak when I summited that. Um, seems that like my pace went up considerably, so. We'll be getting there in about 30 minutes or so, I'd say. Um, obviously, once you get to the crossing, you need to go north of it to get to the bus stop, but it shouldn't be an issue. So yeah, just going to continue walking through this misty forest, really. Um, I came across some deer earlier on. Uh, unfortunately, even though I've got my good camera with me, I couldn't capture any uh, footage or pictures because they screamed and ran off immediately uh, upon seeing me. So that was unfortunate, but yeah. Anyways, I'm going to... Uh, Continue being careful along this path that's starting to get sort of narrow in places, so um, I'll be careful on the way down to Amory Crossing. But until next time, Alex, out.
Hello again, friends. Um, not sure how long I can do this for, as I might get cut off. Um, Alex on the 26th of June, 2022, currently 8.26 in the morning. I'm currently in a place called Hakone in Kanagawa Prefecture. Um, I safely got off Mount Amaki yesterday by Amaki Crossing, as I mentioned. Um, and yeah, so this will be the first video um, after a while. So I will get to work of adding some more videos from the winter time this year um, after this. So um, as always, thank you very much for watching. and. Um, yeah, I'll uh, be sure to put some videos up as soon as possible. Um, by the way, the view from here, Mount Fuji's in the distance over there. Um, it's clouded over currently. It's got a little uh, hat of clouds on currently, it seems. And uh, that Torii Gate over there, the orange thing, is uh, quite famous. It's like one of the first Torii Gates constructed, I'm pretty sure, in Japanese history. Um, so yeah, as always, as I've mentioned, thank you very much for watching. But until next time, Alex, out.